Last Friday, our Fairfield Eagles competed against Brownsboro Bears at Bear Stadium. It was a hard defensive battle, but Fairfield still pulled through with the win. The Eagles started off the game on defense. On the Bears' third down, senior outside linebacker Jermichael Hudson made a huge tackle for loss on the Bears' running back and forced the Bears to punt. The Bears' quarterback tried to throw a ball past the Eagle defenders. It was tipped twice and right into the waiting arms of cornerback number nine, Trent Hauser, for an interception. Number five, Jermichael Hudson with the carry. The Eagles were facing a fourth down when number four, Eli Martin, gained three yards for a first down. Watches number three, Demarcus Hayes, scores the Eagles' first touchdown of the night. Number 20, Tyler Haynes, was good on the extra point, making it 7-6 Eagles at halftime. Number four, Eli Martin, with a gain of 12 yards. Quarterback number eight, Justin Abrams, scoring the Eagles' second touchdown. The Fairfield Eagles defeated Brownsboro with a final score of 14 to six. Now it's time for a brand new segment, Team Talk. So I'm Drew, I'm a senior, and I play left guard. I'm Eli, I'm a freshman, and I play running back and safety. Okay, so what are some team goals that y'all have for this year? To win this year. And go as far in the playoffs as we can. I mean, mm -hmm. do y'all have um, a team motto? Well, we have a verse for this year. It's First Corinthians sixteen thirteen. So, Eli, what what position do you prefer? Running back, because I just have known that position, like just growing up playing it. So it comes more natural. Mm -hmm. um, can you describe the transition from eighth grade football to varsity as a freshman? And what it was like the first time you stepped on the field? Well, it was it was definitely it, it felt like it had more meaning to it, and it it's a lot more fun to play in in Friday night lights and stuff, and it's just been fun hanging out with the the, the varsity guys. Very like they accepted me into their locker room, and it's been really fun. Um, Drew, what questions? <laughs> um, I know you got injured. Um, last year during football. Can you explain your injury? Just okay, so uh, I got hit from behind by a corner and uh, I tore my ACL and my lateral meniscus. So uh, that, I think this month it's been eight months since surgery. And uh, yeah, it was like about two weeks and I was on crutches and then I was walking again because uh, the entire ACL had like completely snapped and I didn't feel anything. So I was walking on it again. But then I had to go in for surgery like two months later because insurance problems and stuff. So it wasn't like two months until I had surgery. And then right after that, I was on crutches for like another two weeks. And then I was going to lots for PT and that took like six months because it was pretty extensive. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Did you ever have any doubts about playing football again this year? Never. I wanted to go back. So um, what kept your determination to push through the recovery and return for your senior year? The team, well, and also because it was senior year, I wanted to be back for the guys. How do you want to influence your fellow teammates as a senior? Just be an example? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be and as encouraging as I can be. Um, Coach Bechtel always says it's National High Five Day every day. Mm -hmm. So I'm always trying to slap somebody on the helmet, give them a high five, do something, try to keep up morale so we can keep going. Because we always have to make our own energy because we get tired all the time. How do y'all think the Eagles for, will perform this season? I think we're going to do, I think we're doing pretty good. Like, it's just the, the, the how that we're all coming together, it's just, it feels like a, a good atmosphere in our locker room. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next week with some more Eagle highlights.